Hi, I'm Sam Coyne and this is my wife Maria Hansen Coyne and we have seven amazing kids, five of which are adopted and two are biological. Um, we always had a dream of having one biological and one adopted. And so we did that. We adopted our one and, and had a bio and thought that was just the perfect like, plan <laughs> and then that's what we were going to do. And then um, God said otherwise. So this being adopted, um, I saw this amazing uh, love that my parents had for me and I knew um, the great need in the world of all orphans and I knew that I can bring children home and give them a good home and give them a father and a mother and, and I just knew that uh, as Christians we're called to do that. And so each one of our kids has a different story and we, our kids are um, Isabella, she's our oldest, she's 10 and she's adopted from the U.S. and then we have Faith who is nine who we adopted from China and then we have our uh, Ella who we adopted from Ghana and she's seven now and then we have our, our biological son Matias who's also seven and then we have Cody who's also adopted from Ghana and he's four and, and Jace is our newest second newest addition to our family and we adopted him a year ago from China and he's three now and then we also have a uh, a bio baby that's nine months. So I think too, like with with each adoption, God continues to reveal His heart to us. And the other thing that too is that we feel so blessed and we feel so loved by God. And so it's also out of that love that we that we've adopted. Through every through every process, too, the faithfulness of God. Um, you know, every one we were funded in various ways, complete surprises, and um, it was just really neat and encouraging to see each one, how each one took shape, um, and then how it was funded as well. So with our, our last adoption, which just came home a year ago, um, we, I was actually doing some stuff for our church, um, some background stuff for LifeSong. They were setting up the account for LifeSong, and we're figuring all that out. And our church leadership wanted to know how much different adoptions cost. And so I was looking at different agencies and putting stuff together for them. So I looked at this waiting list of kids, and it was December, and just kind of looked at it. And then um, in March, I was uh, at church worshiping, and, and God brought that little face of that little boy, one of the little boys, to, to my head. And the first time it happened, I just kind of brushed it away, and I thought nothing of it. Um, well, I did, but I still pushed it away, because we had five, and I thought that was good. And But then it happened um, three weeks in a row at church, just during worship. God often speaks to me during worship. And so the third time, I thought, oh, well, maybe I should tell him. <laughs> and so I told him, and yeah. then... I was on board. <laughs> <laughs> It was really neat to see, you know, throughout the five adoptions, you know, the big, the big question and the biggest step of faith that we take is the whole financial piece. And uh, it's been neat to see in our community the growth of um, adoption and how it's grown in our community. And up until Jace, our last adoption, um, our church was supportive, but they didn't back us financially. And that's like Maria said earlier that Life Song that we we're trying to partner with um, Life Song, and that was able to happen. And through Life Song, we were able to get a grant uh, connected to our church. So it was just really neat to see and how cool it was that the that our local church was 100% behind us in in adoption. Yeah, and, and like you know, the financial piece is huge, and we we needed that money desperately. But I think. The thing that meant more to us than anything was that our church financially stood behind us, you know, and that was awesome. And I know for that for the church that using LifeSong makes it a lot easier on them, but still allowed them to do what they wanted to do, which was support adoptive families. There is nothing that can separate us from your love. Nothing that can separate us from your love.